<laughs> Welcome to Strip Coverlet. <laughs> I'm Adrian Fort. <laughs> and I'm Dalton Gentry. <laughs> We've got things to discuss, Dalton. Come on. <laughs> this, this is Variety yeah. Hour. <laughs> So, uh, out of nowhere, Adrian just, like, he, he stands up and stretches. Because we filmed a lot of videos, like, yeah. six, six or seven at this point. He's like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> just, like, perfect bullwinkle voice. I'm so happy right Moose now. Moose and squirrel. Uh, they're, oh, God. Bear and otter. I'm better now. <laughs> Thank okay. you for that. Uh, anyway, what, what would you like to talk about in Variety Hour? We haven't been uh, doing anything but being sick. Yeah. Yes. Um, Here's what I want to talk about. Okay. Did you notice what Dalton said there? We haven't done anything but be sick. Dalton was not sick. Dalton can never be a father because Dalton can never have a pregnant significant other. Because Dalton would die of sympathy pains. (laughs) Here's the thing. Uh, You text me and say can't film sick can't talk no big deal uh i've I've had to flake off a couple times for various reasons uh so we've handled it before this was just the first time we didn't have any reserve videos backed up but it was a nice week i i I breathe i I could breathe a little bit uh but i get on twitter i'm like well i probably should let people know so there's not mass panic uh so I, i just say you were sick we'll be back in a week because if I say Adrian's sick, that shows weakness. And I get a message from not only pissed off Adrian, but sick pissed off Adrian. I would not have been upset about he that. Says, it was Why are you letting people know I'm dying? They'll I, come for me. They'll I am take not, me out when I'm weak. I am not Fidel Castro. <laughs> They're going to come get me. <laughs> Hoo-hoo. Oh, Fidel Castro did die, didn't he? Yeah, yeah he's gone. Look, look, at that, that. look at that. Uh, Donald Trump celebrated in the way Donald Trump does using Twitter. Um, Donald Trump <laughs> is. Hold on, I'm still bitching about you. Okay, I'm done. Okay, as bad as Donald Trump <laughs> is going to be for the world, uh, sure is going to be entertaining. The United States, he is just going to be a treasure of comedy. Yeah, this is like a George Bush on steroids level. Why comedy. did John Stewart have to retire? No, John Stewart and Colbert will make a resurgence during this. I don't really like Colbert. I like Colbert. I don't like Colbert. I like John Stewart more. I don't like Trevor Noah. I don't like Trevor Noah. No one likes Trevor Noah, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, but oh my God, the man! Uh, as he's being introduced to the presidency, the White House, what he's going to be doing, uh, is basically quoted as saying, uh, "I I didn't realize it was this big of a job." <laughs> Leader of the free world. Like, you don't get paper applications for this? It's uh, it's a nightmare. But we're not going to focus on that right now. Uh, because we talk about politics too much. I'm just going to get away from it all as well. Uh, I, I did have an experience, though. An experience? Um, I, I, I've been talking... Did you lose your virginity? I, it was a religious epiphany. You okay. Can, close. Okay. Uh, immaculate conception. Anyway. And does it make you, does it make you hurt? Adrian... I've been talking a lot lately how I, I'm taking on Adrian-like traits. Okay. And I'm angry for no reason. I am so excited to see where this goes. And I yell at retail customers. That is not <laughs> Not customers, an but people who work in retail. That is not an Adrian thing. Which, you're going to tell the Barnes & Noble story. Yeah, I'll tell the Barnes & Noble story in my own day. Because that was amazing. Um, anyway. Uh, there's a new coffee shop in St. Joseph where I live. It is downtown. I live right on the outskirts. I live in what's considered midtown. But right by downtown. If I want to go get a coffee, I have to go literally all the way up to north to mid-belt, which I, I just realized nobody knows what I'm talking about. But I have to drive a good distance to go get a coffee, right? regardless of where I go. One has opened up downtown. It's called... I'm not going to name names. But uh, it is it is hipster-centric. Okay. Because it is a coffee house and theater. All right. So we're already going that route. Yeah, that's too far. So I pull up. Downtown. I don't even like coffee houses that have like an open mic night. They have a full theater. Yeah. So. So I'm walking in, and I should have been forewarned at this point. An expensive apartment in the city of St. Joseph is like seven hundred dollars a month. Real expensive. That's pretty pricey. 
Uh, I had a three-bedroom duplex right outside of St. Joseph for $650 a month. They're selling or renting apartments above this coffee shop for like $1,500 a month. Studio apartments with an office space, which means it's a two-bedroom apartment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, $1,500 a month. So that should be warning flag one. Yeah. Whatever. I walk in, and you actually have to go through a series of doors to even find it, because it's like kept in the back. Like what it, is it's kept hidden. in the back? The whole thing. What? Like you walk into this vestibule where there's just like windows and a hallway, and you actually have to go down the hallway and take a left to get to the coffee shop, because... If you don't know where it is... You enter you enter the building in the hallway. Yes. Okay. If you don't know where it is, you don't need to be there. Because everybody knows where it is. Anyway. Okay. I walk in and it's like pumping, pulsing, techno-ish music. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, this is okay. Uh, I Everything's go, fine. I go... <laughs> Everything's, Everything's fine. fine. Everything's fine. I go to order and I'm looking at the menu and it's explaining to me, you know, uh, what an Americano is. Is, what a brevet is uh, the different flavor palettes of how I could describe my coffee for I assume my Instagram page uh, no menu so the lady's just looking at me she's like can I help you I'm like is there a menu and she like points across the room because the menu is nowhere near the register it's like on a wall where it shouldn't be written on parchment paper that looks like it was just scribbled. I'm like, well, Dalton, if you don't already know what you want, I mean, if you don't already, already know what you what want, how did you get here? Cause you don't know how to find it in the hallway. So, okay, this is fine. Uh, I had been looking forward to going to this coffee shop for a while. So I had prepared. I looked at the menu online. Yeah. Uh, and I found out that they served bagels with cream cheese, smoked salmon and capers. One of my favorite things. The fact that you looked at the menu online is already too hipster for me. I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable at this point. Uh, but you cannot get smoked salmon with uh, cream cheese and capers anywhere in St. Joseph. So I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm going to have it. Uh, I'm looking at the coffee. I don't understand it. Yeah. Uh, because it's all the same coffee, but I can have it served in multiple ways. Yeah. I can have it out of the air pot, or I can have it cold brewed, or I can have it hand poured or pressed. Uh, so I just order a flavored latte They're of the day. Which is a butterbeer latte. It was disgusting. Butterbeer latte? From Harry Potter. So I had one. I'm upset. So I order it. Uh, significant other's with me. She gets herself a, a mocha something. We order two of the bagels with cream cheese and smoked salmon. Uh, that will be $35, please. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. This is fine. I'm already here. I'll pay. So we have our coffees. They're okay. Uh, it, it is us. Uh, okay, so just real quick. Yes. How much of that bill was the coffee? I believe the lattes were four fifty each, which is that's actually reasonable. That's it, a, it, it's not reasonable, but it's within the realm of it's coffee of shop. Likely, it's coffee shop, and you know it's served in a nice little cup, and they actually hand pour the design into it. Uh, very hipster friendly. I've uh, always said that the measurement for it for a coffee house is an iced caramel latte. Okay. You can tell how seriously they take themselves. From that drink. But that is uh, saying that my bagels are like $13 each. Yeah. That's fine. Whatever. Guess we're going to have a nice breakfast. So we sit and wait. We have our coffees. Finally, a guy comes out and he's like, oh. He does this, which is always a bad sign. I'm Did s- he have a ponytail? Uh, no, he had one of those slouchy beanie things. So he probably had a ponytail. He probably had a ponytail. He's like, I'm so sorry. No one orders the salmon. I'm like, yeah, it's really hard to find around here. Uh, it's gone bad. I can't serve it. Can I get you something else? Hey, that's cool. I appreciate that. I'd rather this than me eating rotting fish. Yeah. Uh, so he's like, how about a couple burritos? <laughs> I'm like, burritos it is. Carry on, sir. Uh, so we wait. Uh, he serves us the burritos. He's like, don't worry about it. We'll refund it. It's all good. No problem. Sorry it happened this way. So I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I hope that picks up, that sound, because it was very low. Oh, that the talking? Yeah. I'm sure it does. Okay. Uh so I have it. I'm satisfied. I eat my burrito, whatever I leave. Uh, I did get refunded. And then I got charged for the burritos. <laughs> so they saved me like a dollar. Cool. Far out, man. And uh, I kind of want to burn the place down. Now. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because half of St. Joe keeps burning down. <laughs> but, and uh, it's going to come back to you. I don't think I'm going to go there to write. <laughs> no. That's, that's not, I might take you one day just so you can experience it. <laughs> It's just grand. Ah, so that was my week. That, that stinks. That, it was, that uh, was the outing. 
That was my outing of the week. Outing of the week. Well, there's so many new things popping up. Like, they're trying to revitalize downtown and make it hip and For, like, the fourth movement in the past ten years. But things are actually popping up now. Yeah. Uh, There's a ramen shop that was pretty damn good. If you want to spend, you know, $15 for a bowl of ramen noodles, it's worth it. Uh, There's a super pretentious, like, wine and oyster bar now. There's things popping that, up here and that there. The same thing happened when the stimulus package money came Oh, out. yeah? You don't remember that? Uh, when the stimulus pack... Oh, oh, I was in high school, so no. Yeah, that was whenever... No, it would have been when I very first moved up there, so we had classes together. You Are you sure? Bitch. Yeah. Okay. The stimulus money would pass through, and, and St. Joe got some to give to sprouting businesses. Okay. And a couple bars popped up, and a couple more bars popped up, and then they went belly up. Okay, uh, but they're getting to the point now where they're putting like uh, art downtown uh, statues, uh, doing a lot of mural painting, which is awesome. I can get behind that. Uh, that happened with the stimulus money as well. Okay, never mind. We're done here. <laughs> uh, anyway, what what would you like to talk? No, about? finish your story. The stim- story you were just telling. Me. That, that's just really it. Oh, okay. I, I went to the coffee shop and I hated my life, and that is a place that I should enjoy, because Dalton a year ago goes in be like thirty five dollars for bagels and coffee. I like it. Give me three. I want everybody to know here I'm having bagels and coffee. I'm going to tweet people let them know I'm having bagels and coffee. Where's my Instagram? My Instagram. Is that what it is? Uh, Instagram. Oh. Yeah. Is that the one that the people post pictures of food on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I, I don't know. There were a couple other people in there. Some people walking in who looked lost and confused. Yeah. Just like you. Much like me. Uh, but I, I don't know, man. I just... Uh, yeah, that back to the awful. Starbucks. That sounds awful. Yes. Anyway, so we went to Barnes and Noble, mm-hmm. and I am going to discredit every story Dalton's ever told about Adrian in public with this one story about Adrian in public. We're we're looking through the young adult section uh, b- because people like young adult books, and we are trying to expand. We are trying to grow. We are trying to do new things. Try new things. Very specifically, we had a viewer, Britt, who said, "Yes, you guys really should read the Raven Boys." So we actually went and looked for it. Yeah, I was like, "Well, let's read the Raven Boys." Yeah, couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. So we're standing there in the young adult section, and this elf-like Barnes and Noble employee comes up to us <laughs> out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, but just appeared. You need help with anything? N- no, no. Which is uh, she was like walking past, and you turn and you go, "Hello," very polite, moving very, out of her way. Moving right? out so of her she way, was moving towards you. Hello. hello, and she just goes, "Can I help you find something?" At which point I said, "Do you remember?" No thanks. I said, "No thank you." Uh, yeah. I think we're doing all right. Uh, so much that, like the snap in her voice took me aback. Yeah, like she was suddenly afraid that we were in the young adult section. We didn't belong. I I don't know what it was, but whatever it was. The little troll moved along, and I turned to Dalton and I said, See, Dalton, this discredits every story you have ever told about Adrian in public, because my immediate reaction was, I'm going to slap this motherfucker in the face. (laughs) Don't talk to me that way. (laughs) Right? I I have done nothing here. Move along before injury happens. Believe it or not, that happens a lot when we go shopping together. Like, people see us shopping, and they're like, Something's not right. <laughs> when, when else did this happen? Every time we go anywhere. It's not people coming up well, and being like... Well, when you dress like that. Like <laughs> this sweater? <laughs> this is a nice sweater. Uh, anytime we go somewhere, it, it's not the polite or not even the I'm doing my job. You, can you find everything all right, guy? It's like, you good? Can I help you guys uh, yeah, the, the, find that anything? Is, the, the, there, because there is a difference... Many times working customer service, my can I help you is, I want you to know that I'm here, but I'm doing my job. You should move along, right? Um, And there's that tone. Yes. But this is like, people approach us as if we are lost. Either lost or about ready to steal everything. (laughs) Yeah. Are we being profiled? I don't know. I mean, that's, we're, we're nice individuals. Do people like you normally steal? I don't think so. <laughs> we're nice individuals. I mean... Yeah, I don't know what it is. I mean, so I guess, like, if you work retail, how would you approach us? I mean, considering that I, I usually tower over Adrian because he's a tiny person. How uh, tall are you? Six foot. I'm not tall by any means. I'm 5'7". Okay. You are not towering. 
you exaggerating son of a bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, anytime we go to the bookstore, uh, we go to buy patron figures, uh, we go anywhere together. Walmarts, Targets, we're looking at cameras at Best Buy. People come up to us, they're like, do you guys need anything? Well, it, it, but but what it normally is, is it comes out, are you, uh... You know, have you noticed that? Yeah. It's like they're not finishing the question. And I imagine, because every time we've done an Ask Me Anything video, okay, what's the, what's the one question we always get? People think we're a couple. Yeah. So I'm imagining that people come up and they start the question, are you in need or do you need? And what, or what, <clears throat> excuse me. I imagine what people are coming up to say is, do you guys need help with anything? But it starts because they're thinking in their head, is this a couple? What's going on here? So they start the question, hey, are you two? And they want to say a couple. Yeah. They want to say, are you two together? It could be it. Could be it. <clears throat> because the question flips in their head. So I'm imagining that some of the... the, the str- it's not bad customer service normally. It's no. weird customer service. But <laughs> but here's the issue. Uh, the few people... Because we do have a customer... Or a customer. Uh, an employee of Barnes & Noble who we're all about. She always yeah. has helpful information yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But every time she goes to talk to us... I notice I do. I get super, super friendly and appreciative. Yes. Over-exaggerating And himself. he does the... He did... Thank you. And he'll do the hands. And he... <laughs> when, he when he pulls out the business card to pay, it's with this. Um, but it's very exaggerated. Thing. I know we were shopping at Target one day. We needed something at Target. And I had, like, gone to the restroom or something. And you were, like, having conversation... I literally cut in front of you and be like, hi. I, I cut you off and I'm like, I, was, the woman in front of me was talking to me. Like anytime I see a, any, if I see a woman attempt to speak to Adrian, maybe. You just get so possessive. I do, I do. I, I, I play the jealousy card. I'm like, hi, I'm Dalton. Yeah, then that's We're what, done here. What, what happens is I'll be in a conversation with someone, um, like the woman that, that talked to me about records that day, remember? Oh, God, yes. This woman starts talking to me about, me about records at uh, Vintage, Vintage Stock. Stock. I don't know really the conversation that's, having up, that's coming up, that's going on. And Dalton walks up and he goes, hi. And he just stands there. But that's he the doesn't thing. attempt to take part in the conversation. That's the and thing. then he storms off. She kept talking to you about records. And I knew you didn't know her. And I knew you don't know a thing about records. Or else we'd have something in common. So I'm just on the other side of the room. I'm like, Adrian, have you seen this? You should come over here and see this. That's my phone. Who's calling me? You son of a bitch. You can't turn your phone on silence for 15 minutes. Uh, Ironically enough, somehow my phone is on silence. We can leave it on here. We can leave it on here. It's obviously not on silence. Uh, No, it is on silence. Somehow I have uh, turned my smartwatch to find my phone. What is that? I can... Okay, Google. Find my phone. What? It it will ring. No. Yeah. Here, here. I got one for you. Talking to a watch, James Bond. Okay, Google. Text Adrian Fort. What? I love you, Pookie. This is insanity. And it's sending. Oh my God! Isn't it amazing? See? This is stupid. That's what technology does. Your watch just text messaged me? Yeah. How, how do you do that? How do you think I... Good thing. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Self-destruct. Budapest. Get out! <laughs> uh, that is a uh, self-destruct move. Uh, self-destruct's power is increased to... Well, I'm sure this is making just thrilling uh, entertainment. Right I'm now. sure it is. Actually, people who might be like, oh, look, you don't know what a smartphone is. That's adorable. <laughs> smartphone. Hi, I'm smartphone. <laughs> this is a watch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize. But what? Okay, Google. Google? Hey. Okay, Google. Smartphone. Smartphone. Smart, see, there's that is a cellular phone. I just realized, like, anytime we're like, what does that mean on the channel? We just, I guess, you you could be doing that, Uh, but you let wonderful magic muggle technologies like that 
Or Muggle is the opposite of magic, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, so you let Harry Potter, James Bond type technologies such as this go to waste. My apologies for that. Uh, and that's the thing. Like, I, I'm expecting a phone call. I interviewed for a job three weeks ago. Okay. I'm expecting a phone call to know if I got it or not. Yeah. And for some reason, my heart like started fluttering. I'm like, oh, a job. <laughs> Yay. And then I'm like, oh, it's almost midnight. <laughs> Well, that's that might be when they would call you since you work you work the overnights, right? Ah, uh, no, they they'd call during the day oh, because okay. I work the overnights. The they people do who not. do the hiring do not work the overnights. Okay. <laughs> I can't uh, get over the fact that your phone, that your watch, yeah, can text message me. Does it act on its own? Ah, uh, well, it just did. Apparently, apparently, it heard something that sounded like yeah, find my phone, and it went off. Didn't work that time. Your phone's so. on silent. Okay, Google. Unsilence my phone. I don't think it works like that. Oh, okay. Can your watch move my phone? No. Can Actually, your watch move your phone? Move? Yes. No. No. We could sync it to your phone. This is you much wanted. less interesting now. Okay. I'm I don't know sorry. if we could. Mine's mine's a Leon. Yes, we could. And also, I totally know what I'm getting you for Christmas. It no. makes me uncomfortable. I'm gonna get you a seven dollar watch from Walmart and just tell you it's a smartphone. <laughs> Because I'll get a call and be like, I can't get it to work. <laughs> Why won't it work? I'm like, you just have to yell louder. <laughs> okay, Google. <Cougar! laughs> start my idea. truck. <laughs> you can do that, actually. Yeah. You can get what? remote start for your truck. No. And you can start it from your phone now. So I can steal so your you... car from your phone, from your watch. Yeah. I could, I could hack I off your arm and steal your car. Uh, oh, what was the technology that that is getting ready to come out that, oh, Amazon, uh, Amazon Go Store. Have what? you heard of that? No. Uh, maybe this is fake and I just missed it, but I don't think it is. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Amazon is opening a brick-and-mortar store, right? All right. So what you do is when you go in, you walk through like a turnstile like you're at the uh, the bus or okay. the subway, and you scan your phone. And you go in, and anything that you take and put in your bag, your phone picks it up and registers it. So when you're done shopping, you just leave. And it'll be billed to your Amazon account. Why doesn't Walmart pick up that technology? Uh, because Walmart is insistent on only having two registers open 24-7. Except for the self-checkout. Uh, a- actually, in St. Joe now, after 10 p.m., only self-checkout. Yeah. I hate it. Me too. Uh, but no, that's all you do. You just go in. Let's say you, you want a book. You put the book in your bag or you just grab it and you walk out. And it'll charge to your Amazon account. Now, didn't Amazon start as just a bookstore online? I think so. And I know they are moving to doing brick-and-mortar bookstores now. Uh, because they've killed the bookstore industry. Yeah. So, uh, in true so let's join warrior the fashion, industry. they're going to place the bookstore in- uh, industry's head on a pike yeah. and flaunt it. Uh, but no, that, that's, that's what it is now. It's all done by technology of uh, some kind of, basically, proximity. Hmm. So, you scan your phone, which registers your Amazon account, and then you don't check out, you don't do anything. You just grab what you want and leave. And, and I will go to these brick and mortar stores and just toss shit in people's bags. You don't even have to toss it in a bag. You, you just, just walk out next to them. Pretty much. And I mean, it's that's, yours. that's the only thing I can think of. And here's what's killing me is what's stopping somebody from being like, oh yeah, I totally swipe my phone. Well, I imagine that it will. It, there would be some type of indication whether you whether it was registered or not, whether it picked up. I, I assume. Uh, I imagine it's going to be a nightmare. But if it works out, hey, I'm cool and dandy with it. I am afraid of the cash register. I don't like it. Yeah. They're always... I... I Yeah, me too. I don't like talking to people. Yeah. I uh, I had to buy a printer recently uh, because I am terrible with printers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to shame myself a little bit. Uh, I had an old printer. Did you Adrian it up? Uh, yeah. I had an old printer. And I was trying to get it to connect wireless, wirelessly to my laptop. Yeah. Uh, and I literally spent hours, frustrating hours, and I'm like, why will this not sync? You didn't turn it on. Why will this not sync? So I went out, just bought a cord, plugged it in, whatever. Uh, that printer eventually died, as cheap printers do. I actually went to Walmart, bought the same model of printer, got it home, and read, unlike the opening page, not a wireless printer. <laughs> So I sat for hours yelling at my printer. I'm like, why won't it connect? So you anti-Adrian. I anti-Adrian. You thought it was more advanced than it was. And it, well, it was just a printer. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I had to go through the self-checkout. And it was late because I work overnight and I sleep weird hours. Uh, so I go through 
and I'm trying to buy the printer at self-checkout, and it won't take it. Like, it beeps and scan and tells me there's an error, wait for service. And the lady comes over and she's like, you can't buy this at self-checkout. And again, because I am Adrian now, I'm like, well, I guess I'm not buying it then. What do you propose we do about this? And she checks it out for me. Uh, but yeah, apparently there's some things you can't purchase. I could purchase liquor at the self-checkout. I've done it. Yeah. But a printer, that's just too much. Too, too far. too far. Too far. Less expensive, probably, than the liquor that you were buying. Actually, yes. Yeah. And I'm the guy who also buys a printer two days before Black Friday when the printer is like 85% off the next day. I'm like, it's what I did. It's what I did. Proud of myself. Did you Good. Go, did you go Black Friday shopping? I did not. I go every year. Do you really? Uh, this is something I inherited from my father because he goes every year but doesn't buy anything. <laughs> uh, my father is huge. Your father goes in an attempt... That is like he, he goes in an attempt at suicide by cop, right? <laughs> My father is six foot six, uh, about three hundred pounds. Uh, he used to fight in the tough man thing, the tough man boxing. He's a very big, very large, very scary gentleman. Uh, he goes into the stores, and when people like start mobbing, he just pushes through. Because nobody's going to stop it. It's an attempt at suicide by cop. I'm telling you. And he grabs like if it's, let's say it's printers, he'll grab like four of them. And it'll take him to the back of the line and start handing them out. <laughs> it's like a weird hobby of his that he just does just to fuck with people. So I go every year. And my thing is I just go and I enjoy the insanity and make fun of people. And I usually buy like milk or something. Because if you want to see a pissed off shopper on Black Friday, stand in line in front of him trying to buy a gallon of milk and just looking confused. Like what the hell's going on? There's a lot of people here. Why don't you get footage for the channel doing these things? It makes sense. So Josh and I went this year. Yeah. We bought slippers. We stood in line for like two hours and bought Where? a pair Where of slippers. Where did you go? Uh, Walmart in Kansas City, actually. Because we okay. were in KC. Uh, over by Legends. Okay. That Walmart. Not a good one to go to on Black Friday. Yeah. That place was insane. Uh, but I do have nice memory foam slippers now. So... Uh, I've got nothing else to say. I, I'm good here. Been doing any writing lately? Uh, yes. Go on. I wish we could, but we are out of time. Quite literally. We're we're at 27 minutes All of the 28 right. along. All right. So if you like this kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a like as well, because every week on Thursday we shame ourselves for your amusement. Yeah. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, Astro Cover, and on Facebook, Astro Cover Loot.